It's Monday, July 6, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Arise, and our scripture is Song of Solomon, Chapter 2. Ah, I hear my lover coming. He's leaping over the mountains, bounding over the hills. My lover is like a swift gazelle or a young stag. Look, there he is behind the wall, looking through the window, peering into the room. My lover said to me, Rise up, my darling. Come away with me, my fair one. Look, the winter is past, and the rains are over and gone. The flowers are springing up, the singing of birds has come, and the cooing of the turtle doves fills the air. The fig trees are forming young fruit, and the fragrant grapevines are blossoming. Rise up, my darling. Come away with me, my fair one. Solomon writes this love sonnet about the heart of his lover beating ever faster as she contemplates the arrival of the one she's been waiting to see. The hope is that they'll be together, never again parted. It's spring and the visions of resurrection abound. Winter is fading, giving way to young blossoms, singing birds, and the promise of fruit on the vines. Hibernation is over, it's time to arise. Even an old dog's ears stand up when the scent of a hunt is near. It's proof that the eager call of youth never really leaves. I have to confess this young man inside of me loves all the seasons. I love the spring and the fall particularly, but all the changes of life are interesting and blessing. I love the awakening of things. What's true now in the natural realm is often a mirror to understand spiritual matters. Looking forward to the call of Arise, my darling, is at the very center of Christian thought. It's the resurrection to which we aspire, our lives of death transformed to an eternity of abundant life with the one who loved us enough to die for us. Who could deny this is the love story of all love stories? And in love stories, there's one certainty, it runs deep. Lovers feel both pain and joy on no small scale. Now what's true in human love runs even deeper in the spiritual realm. Consider the pathos of Jesus' statement to Judas when the traitor led the palace guard to arrest him in the Garden of Gethsemane. With a kiss, Judas? Really? There's no denying the pain of a love story that ends with heartbreak. But the other side of that is the happily ever after variety of love. Even that phrase evokes for an old dog proof that the hunt is worth it. Not just for physical love or the satisfaction of being with people you love, but the eternal thirst we all have for being loved, being wanted. And that is the truth of what is at the heart of God's creation purpose. He created us to love us because God is love. Let's pray together. Father, we are aware that you designed our hearts to love you by loving each other. We are also aware that we are sometimes not very good at that. Grant us power to change that this day. Let us be what you are. Love in word and deed. For you today. You may have read the words, Rise up, my darling, is what a human lover says to his or her loved one. Read them today as the words your God speaks to you. You are loved, you are wanted, and that unconditionally. No strings. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.